So next on the list is the probing. So when you probe, what I used to do is I used to press into that paper. After my ideogram, I press into the lines. Press so much that I could feel energy going from my hands, from the pen, into the drawing. Um, and that's how I probed. Now, some of the feedback I used to get from probing was um, like this. So if it was a solid target on the other side of that probe, I could feel the same amount of energy that I would put into the drawing being reflected back to me. Like it was being reflected back. Uh, so I'd press and I'd feel a, an equal and opposite press back. Like I was feeling the table pressing back, which is cool because you expect the table to resist you pressing. And that's how it felt like. like it felt like resistance. So for solid things, it was resistance that, that you could feel. For things like sand or loose or soft stuff, when I probed, I push hard, but I didn't get the resistance. There wasn't anything reflecting the energy back. It seemed to be absorbed by the objects that were receiving the energy. Like I had visions of seeing energy going into the ideogram and then dispersing into the object through its little bits. That's how I used to visualize it. So when my pressing of the paper with the probe used to happen with soft bits, it would I could feel the energy go into the drawing and then disperse on the other side like there would be no feedback there would be no sort of resistance coming back um, from from the drawing like a solidness like a reflectiveness of the energy that i put into it coming back it felt like a dispersiveness it dispersed into the target and went away and that's how i felt that's how i would describe soft or loosely packed items things could slip through them to the other side like sand uh, shifting through an hourglass sort of thing or those bubble pitches where they have the sand pitches and they've got a line of bubbles across it and you see the mountains and the sand slowly drip, dripping through um, through the bottom of those bubbles making a, a landscape underneath that's that's how I could describe my probe energy for soft stuff if I if my energy was probing from the top of those bubbles I could see the energy come out the other side and that's what soft and loose loose targets used to give me uh, hard would give me equal and opposite reflection of of that energy i'd put in um, and that that was my probe um, and that was my early day probe um, probe never used to produce anything and i would be searching for things internally to myself but then it developed a physical type reaction uh, to uh, to the probing action um, I would get physical sensations back from them so that's the development of probe now I get more sensations or impressions back from uh, I get more sensations back from a normal probe where I don't really it seems to have moved on I don't get physical energy perceptions from the probe that much i get more descriptions in my anal my searching for impressions now they seem to be a lot more descriptive and uh more descriptive of the target that's pretty much all i can yeah they're more descriptive of the target so the probing actions have changed from from nothing to trying to search for an internal impression to a physical sensation where it will return feedback energy feedback depending on the target um, to now being not so much a physical sensation but more articulative articulative or more descriptive of the of the object or the target uh, without using the energy feedback um, 
without using the energy feedback. So yeah, probes have changed. Um, it's getting different. And it's interesting to go through those changes. So that's probe. That's the action of probing. Um, so what shall we go on to next? So let's go through let's go through the different phases, uh, different stages. All right. 